I'm going to talk about one of the signs of the pronunciation. Today we are going to talk about the short vowels. And I made it in, I, into two separate parts so that we can um, talk more about them. And they are very, very important. So what are signs of the pronunciation? Signs of pronunciation are signs or labels that we put above or below the layers to give a different me pronunciation and accordingly a different meaning. So the way we pronounce the word determine the meaning of the word. And we are going to know that very, uh, very uh, in a very specified way in our next videos. The, uh, this is this, uh, this is a diagram of the Arabic alphabet. It consists of 28 layers. Three of them are vowels. So what are these vowels? Vowels are the three layers alif and waw and ye. Alif on the right, waw in the middle, and ye in the left. So the layer alif is pronounced in the middle and at the end of the sun of the word as a. So we say a eh, like that. The layer wo is pronounced in the middle and at the end of the word as wo. You say it like that wo. And the layer ye is pronounced in the middle and at the end of the word as e. E. So the layer alif is pronounced as a, eh, and the layer wo is pronounced as wo, and the layer ye is pronounced as e. So we can drive from them the short vowels. So there is alif wow ye pronounced as ye as e, wow as wo, and alif as e, e like that e, and you you stretch your mouse while you uh, spell that e like that you say e. So we can drive from them the short vowels. These are fatha derived from the alif, which is a sound. Say a, fatha a. You see, and the uh, wow, we can drive from it the miniature dhamma, uh, which is a miniature wow like that, which is u or o sound, and the layer ye can be derived from it the kasra that is e or i layer, yeah, oh, sorry, e or i sound. So the short vowels are fatha a, the a sound. Dhamma, O, the U or O sound. Kasra, E, the E or I sound. These are derived from the three vowels of the Arabic alphabet. So, this is a short diagram I made so that you can uh, understand better the short vowels. So, the first one is Fatha, Fatha which has the E sound. I can call it open up sound. So I call it like that because we open our mouth when we uh, pronounce the fatha. And fatha means open, okay, in Arabic. Uh, so when you open up your sound, your mouth, sorry, when you open, open up your mouth while pronouncing the fatha, you make the A sound, you say A, eh, A, eh, opened, you opened your mouth like that. The Dhamma which is in the middle like that, which is the U or the O sound, can be called close of sound. So why I go like that? Because um, you close your mouth, all of your tongue, well, sorry, all of your mouth when you pronounce it. You say O, O, like that. You close the O and you, see, and you feel that your lips all are closed and, uh, if, uh, and you when you pronounce that okay the kasra which is the e or i sound can be called breakdown sound because you feel that something is broken and if you break your mouse or <laughs> that's an expression of course you break you actually when you pronounce the kasra you lower your lower jaw so when you lower your lower jaw, you see, you feel that some that you break your mouth, <laughs> like that. Understand? So the fatha is the open up sound, the dhamma is the close of sound, the kasra is the breakdown sound. 
This is the way you pronounce the fatha, kasra, and dhamma. The fatha is the, at the right. You open up your sound. You open up your mouth. Uh, the kasra in the middle. You pray. You lower your lower jaw, and the dhamma in the left. You uh, close or or get all of your lips closed, and you pronounce the dhamma in one direction. You say o, okay. It's not worthy to say that the fatha and the dhamma and the kasra are pronounced after the lair, not before it. So we are going to see that in these three examples. So the first example of the fatha is the word samia. Samia means heard in English. It's the past form uh, of the verb here, okay? Samia consists of three layers. The first layer is seen. Seen stands for S. Okay, S. Uh, so you can see that uh, the scene has a fatha over it. Okay, that fatha stands for A. So you see Samia. Okay, the second letter is M. Meme. Meme stands for M in English. So the first letter is seen, the second letter is meme. Meme stands for M. And you can find that the kasra is below that meme. So it stands for E. e. Okay, so uh, we added the E sound after the letter meme, not before it. Not, okay, not before it. And the last letter. Uh, for Samia is Ayn um, and it stands for AE. Okay, but I forgot to put the E. Okay, Samia. So uh, it consists of three letters. The first letter is Sin, Sin stands for S. Second letter is Mim, stands for M. And the last letter Ayn stands for AE. Okay. The Dhamma. Uh, we have an example for it, which is Sulnam. Sulnam uh, means ladder. Ladder, so uh, it consists of three letters. The first letter is also seen, which stands for S. And because it has uh, a Dhamma over it, so we added the O sound. Okay. And the letter L, Lam, stands for L. Okay. But we added double double L as you can see here because we stressed on it you see you say sullam sullam so you can find that we pronounce that letter uh, twice okay so it has double L we're going to talk about that letter the letter lamb has a fatha over it so we added the A sound sullam and the last letter is meme. Meme stands for M. So it's solemn. Solemn means ladder. Seen, which is S, and has Adama over it, so O after it. And lamb, which is uh, L, uh, but because we stressed on it, you say solemn like that. So we add double L. And it has a fatha over it, so we added A. And then the last letter is M, uh, meme, which stands for M. The last example we have is regl, which stands for foot. Regl means foot in English. The first letter in the word regl is re. Re stands for R. And because it has kasra below the R, there is a kasra below the R, so we say, we added the E sound, regl. And we have the second letter, gim. Gim stands for G. You can uh, observe here, the circle over the gim letter that's called no vowel uh, sound the called no vowel sound and when you see that uh, it's no sound okay it's no vowel means no vowel and when you see that no vowel sign you know that you pronounce the letter as it is you don't add any uh, pronunciation sound after it you say rig just gim stands for g okay and the last letter is lam stands for l as we mentioned, so reg, re stands for R and it has a kasra below it, so we added E and then the letter gim, gim stands for G and, and it has no vowel sign over it, so we do, we pronounce it as it is 
only G and the last letter is lim 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 stands for L okay this is the end part one hope you enjoy it if you have any questions please tell me in the comments thank you